I'm done. I don't care. I will burn every single bridge we have before I let these brokers take advantage of us. Well, we made it to our drop. It's uh, 10.45. I think we're back on Eastern time. What are you doing, Mackies? What's going on, huh? What's going on? So, we'll get these things on... <coughs> All right, you shithead. We'll get these things unloaded. And I believe we have four hours of deadhead. Three and a half, four hours. Um... I'm worried about using these ramps for these uh, for these two semi trucks because uh, if you guys remember those ram trucks that we did, it was a pain in the butt getting two trucks up on this trailer, having to move those ramps around. So I'm uh, I'm stressed out about that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm a little worried. Uh, hopefully we can get these ramps moved around where we can get these things loaded. I don't know. Well, Lita went up there to see uh, where they want us to get unloaded, and uh, we'll get these things off and hit the road. One of the, uh, I have an older white mud flap on the back of the, of the semi, and it had about this much ice built up on it this morning. And as I was, I was doing my walk around, I kicked it a few times, completely shattered. So now I have to get a, now I have to get a mud flap because we're missing a mud flap. You see mama coming? What is she doing over here? What is she doing, huh? All right, let's get these things unloaded. Hey, I gotta get up here so I can hit the button. All right, so we just got those trailers unloaded and the broker finally got back to us and offered us a measly $25 for five hours of loading. So I told them to take us off their list. I'll never pull another big text trailer for them again. I'm done. I don't care. I will burn every single bridge we have before I let these brokers take advantage of us. Which way does this thing want me to go? All right, so we got a tire that needs a little bit of air. I took my air hose off the truck because I was like, we never use this thing. <coughs> we never use this thing anyways. And now I need it. Honestly, it was a it was that cheap little blue hose I bought. It took forever to air up a tire. No, Mackie. You can't get up here. Go lay down. Go lay down, Sarah. Oh, you know what I want to do? I wanted to measure how tall this trailer is too. Alright, let's hit the road. Mm -hmm. Well, we have arrived. Man, look at all that snow and ice all over everything. What a mess. What a mess. So, I think the uh, two trucks that we're going to be getting are going to be in this back lot here. Um, I just got to find out where we got to go, get this figured out, and uh, we'll show you guys what we got. All right. So, those are the two trucks. We got our goofy hat on. And uh, let's see what we can do.
that's number one on probably gonna end up having to back this up a little bit more yeah most definitely but I wanted to be able to get those ramps out of there we'll pull that next truck up and we'll see what everything looks like So we gotta get some Windex. We off. We got the ramps. We're off the ramps. That's probably good. sticking out that much. Not really. You got like this much room? Do we need to take the keys out so they don't fucking lock themselves in there? Just saying. Oh, we got a dirty lens. We got a dirty lens. What do you think of that? 
We're gonna pull out a tape measure, make sure we're not over height anywhere. Um, I need to figure out how to dump the bags on these things so we can get them down a little lower. Well, we're gonna shut it down early tonight. I think we got about an hour and a half left on our clock. And uh, we are on uh, I-70 east of um, Indianapolis. And we came across this rest area with over a hundred spots. So it is, um, I think it's almost 10 o'clock though at night. And uh, there's just no point in pushing. We're going to probably unload these things uh, Sunday. So, no big deal. Seem to be riding okay. This one uh, is a little taller than this one. And it's got some air horns on it. And I did some measuring. And uh, I ended up talking the... Uh... Did I mention this is a subscriber load? So... While sitting here waiting for this to load, we had a uh, subscriber named Steve hit us up. He's uh, bought two semi trucks up in Indiana. About four, I think we're going to be four hours from from dropping these to his semi trucks. A guy named Steve <coughs> bought these, um, so I ended up talking him into uh, letting the air out of the tires. So I'll probably have to pay for a tire shop to come out and blow those back up since since it popped the uh, tire off the off the bead. But uh, we had to because we were going to be too high. So we ended up dumping the airbags on this one, and I let the air out of the front on this, uh, just so we can get under the 13.6. So, anyways, whoo! Did you lock that door? <clears throat> this place is massive. It's got a uh, giant parking lot over there. It's got all kinds of parking along here. Oh, I think it's 15 degrees outside. Um, I think we're going to shut the truck down tonight. We don't have a lot of uh, snow and ice on the uh, truck and trailer. <coughs> so I think, we'll, <coughs> I think we'll be okay just running the APU tonight. So anyways, we are uh, going to go take a leak and then we're going to walk the dogs. I think Lita's going to cook us a bowl of ramen. We're still not 100%, so food still tastes pretty funny to us. Uh, there's a lot of things that we've tried to eat. Let's see if I can swap this around. <sighs> Probably too dark. Definitely too dark. Anyways, there's a lot of things that we've been trying to eat. <coughs> we bought a, uh, I bought me a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit this morning. Wow, it's super dark through here. See if we can get up here to the light. Ugh. I bought me a uh, five dollar. Um, what was it? Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. A five dollar sandwich. And uh, I couldn't eat it. It tasted like it had chemicals in it. So five dollars wasted. And then I got a uh, cappuccino out of the machine and it was straight sugar so I couldn't even drink that so my uh, breakfast this morning whoo it's cold Ugh, was completely ruined Urgh. oh I feel so good in here oh, yeah Let's see if this tells us anything about this place yeah it's, it's a pretty big place Greenfield, Indiana. All right, I'll see you guys later. Um, that dude might be dead. I mean, the front of the cowboy. Yeah. Right. Smashed right into the mountain. Two of them. Tanker trucks completely. <gasps>
all right guys we uh we slept in until about eight o'clock this morning ended up leaving at uh about nine and getting here at about eight so we hauled butt today so we're at the uh we're at the home depot now um we're just trying to get some air in these tires can't get the uh beads to seat um tried the old starter fluid with the lighter trick but uh it is not wanting to seat so i called a tire shop tire shop's gonna see where their closest guy is maybe send somebody out here with one of those cheetahs uh steve i don't think he was crazy about the big fireballs that we had but uh, he ran up he knows a mechanic up the road here he's gonna see if he's still working maybe he can come over here and help seat these things but uh this is where we're gonna be unloading it oh i need to make sure i took myself off duty anyways this is it and uh i'll let you guys know what happens here Well, that was uh, that wasn't too bad. We're getting better at moving these ramps around, like we know what we're doing. But uh, we got the trucks unloaded. He's got them parked over there. We just have to uh, put these ramps up now. And um, he suggested we go to a pilot down towards uh, South Carolina. He said there's lots of uh, lots of room to sit down there. So that's going to be the plan. So let me uh, we'll get these ramps up. Oh, I got to make sure I don't forget his bottle jack here. And uh, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> 